Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we're working on a Quick Mill 3035 coffee machine, espresso machine, brilliant machine. Um, if people are interested, I can do a review of it. Um, send me a comment in the um, comment section. But um, so this is a brilliant coffee machine. We upgraded from an espresso to this, which is basically fully mechanical in the sense of you've got to do everything yourself, which is great if you're learning how to make uh, proper espressos. Really recommend it. So we've got a problem today because I went this morning to make my wife coffee and suddenly um, once you put this on, it it sort of feels all right. Once it goes up in, in here, oh, it feels all right. But suddenly you've got um, steam and water coming out the back here and everything. So obviously we've got a seal by the looks of it or something's gone in here. So this video is going to be about how I solve that. Uh, we'll clean up any parts that need to be cleaned up in the process. Now I have got loads of beans in there and I can't be bothered to take all the beans out and do all that. So all I've done is put a bit of sellotape on there just so the lid can't come off. Now it's got a flat back on it. Now, if we were doing more extensive stuff, you can undo these four screws here, take this top off, but I'm just gonna try and do it from, from, from under here. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that off. Right, and then we can take this off. I've already, I've already sort of partly cleaned this. Um, okay, so we can take that off like that. And now, lay it on its back. This is why I obviously screwed up the thing. Now, I have already, well, before I say that, I've, I've uh, emptied the water, the water butt out. Okay, now, also what I've been using, sometimes when I do this and come back again, I get, I'm getting a bit of leak of water, so I reckon there's a seal in here that probably needs changing as well. But right now, we're gonna do this here. We're gonna have a look. Now, I have an idea, in fact, I can see, let me get my torch. Now yeah, look, can you see down there? Look, there's a ring there, look. Now that looks, it's like other two, it's not gonna be too big, so I reckon that's, that's split. Okay, and if you actually look up there, it's quite dirty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, take, it, take that whole section off here and give that a good clean, okay? I'm gonna get myself a little screwdriver and we'll peel that seal off there. Um, and then we'll see what we've got. Now the first thing I can do is I can get a screwdriver in there and we'll undo that nut. So it's obviously anti-clockwise. So let me undo that and we'll take that off. Actually, I'm just going to use a, it's actually a, it's an adjustable spanner. Put that on there, look. And we'll undo that. Now I actually have had this off. I think some parts came off. There we are, yeah. There should be a spring. There should be a spring in there. All right. So there should be a spring in there. So that's gone missing somewhere. All right. Anyway, so we've got this part off here. Look. Like that. Now that was. I say I've already taken that off. That was a like completely caked up with rubbish. So um, old coffee grinds and stuff. So I've cleaned that out, and I will do again. All right. So now we've got this bit here. So if I get a screwdriver here. There, look. This bit comes off, for that state of that, and needs a good clean. So we can clean that. And then here, look, you can see that O-ring. And that's what happened. It's bust. So basically, um, that's where the, the, all the water was coming. So it's obviously caught. And I think actually, once you get a lot of coffee, if you get coffee up here, it sends up like bloody sand and so the this will literally stick to this seal like that because there's there's coffee on there and you only need to have a bit of coffee on here and then when you put that up and twist it um it's like sandpaper and it just grips it and as you as it grips it as you turn it like that it then obviously puts stress on that and then it split it so i need a new one of those seals I've got O-rings, but nothing that big. So uh, I'm gonna have to go and order that. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do while I'm here is I'm gonna um, take this right off. Now, if you look, there's four screws here. There's this bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. So I'm just gonna undo all those, take that off. Let me undo that. Now I've looked at the parts diagram on the internet and I should be able to do that without too much problem. Now these are little plungers. These um, brass things are in little plungers in there. So there's a spring behind that. 
So I have to be careful that they don't spring out and blow out. But I think I've already lost what was in the middle of that. So I need to go and uh, find it back in the kitchen. So you need a four mil, a four mil Allen, Allen key bit. I'll just do the bottom, there's four in there. Put that in there, look. Yeah, they're not too tight, that's one. Oh, that's tight, two. Right. Three, look. It's filthy in there. Oh, it's all four. So right, I'm just going to undo these by hand. Look, I'll take one out for you so you can see. There you are. It's one of those little ones there. So keep your bits and bobs neat. I'll go and get myself a metal tray and I'll put them all in there so I don't lose them. And I'll just take those rest of the rest of those out. All right, so now what we can do is gently, gently pull these off, look. And you see behind them, look. You've got your three, three springs there, right? There we are, look. All right, so they can all be cleaned up. So now what we can do is go and clean that ring up. Yeah, and clean a bit of this up. So you should have three springs. One, two, three. And one, two, three. There. Now these are all really dirty, so these are going to be cleaned up and re-greased. Re a bit of food, food, food grade grease. All right, so, and I'll clean that up a bit as well. Now, there should be some stuff which I haven't got, and I think someone else, there was, I checked, there was nothing came out, because nothing came out when I undid it, but somebody has undone that, and there should be a spring in there and various other bits. So when I go to um, the spare parts place, I need to get the bits for that. But I'll, do, I'll show you a picture of an exploded diagram shortly. So let me go away and clean all that up. Okay, look, um, it's all looking a bit. So what I've done, I've, had to, I've actually used a bit of that because that's along that groove there, you've got to be really careful because um, I thought it was clean and you run along a screwdriver along and there's loads of other bits of muck and everything. So really clean that up because that's where the actual, the seal sits on. Um, so this is something that needs to be done regularly, hence servicing the machine. Bit of a thing there from the cloth. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get a vacuum cleaner and clean that up. So that's all nice and clean in there. So I've also cleaned all the other bits up here, look. So these are all been nice, nice and cleaned up. Um, again, that's got a lot of stuff on it, so you wanna make sure you clean that one up. Springs and everything. So I'm gonna, this is just coffee. Uh, they're all clean now that i know what this is because this used to drip ever since i've had it actually it dripped a little bit and i know what it is that's the return valve non-return valve so then presumably there's a spring in there and a little ball bearing and that when it, when it when you put it in goes up there so that um when the pressure so the the pre the, the the water comes out of there under pressure yeah it goes down through the cough through the Percolate it through the coffee and everything, and when 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 that's stopped, the water will keep dripping unless you've got a return valve, a little valve in there. So that's basically all it is: is a ball bearing with a spring which pushes up there, stops the water dripping. And this used to drip, so I reckon someone else took that out a while ago, and forgot to uh, put the spring back. So I'll get from the spares guy. I'll get a spring and a and a ball bearing. Actually, while I'm here, I can actually put the. Um, Put this cover back on, uh, and um, because actually the the seal you can put on without you, you know even though the cover's there. So let me put that cover back on. Here are the clean bits. Now I'm just going to use a bit of um, coconut oil. I just put a little bit of coconut oil on here, which will just work as grease. Um, so I'll just put that on there, and then we put the springs in. Let's see inside that, and then we can mount that. So. Turn that on its head just to make it a little bit easier, and I'll just put some grease on there. No. Okay, they're in there. The springs, the springs are on, the springs are there. Look, you stick the spring in there, and it goes in like that nicely. So now what we can do, as you can see, they're not perfect, uh, as in they're, they're different positions. So there's only one way to put this little puppy on, 
I think it's like that. That will ask why they would have done it. So that goes on there like that. And you'll have a bit of resistance because when you tighten that up, that pushes those springs down. So they're there. So now we can put the these four little ones in here and screw that back up. So let me do that. So they're all uh, they're all in there nice and tight, those four. And just check that they move up and down easily as they do. Put your finger on there. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm just going to, I actually decided I want to take the whole machine to the place where I can get the parts just to make sure but, uh, I get the right bits and everything. But um, look, at, so anyway, while it was there, I just thought, well, I'll put that there just to put it in there. Look, I put that in and I just suddenly noticed. Look at that. Now, you don't really notice that because you never look at the underside of this generally. You just wash it and but look at that. So look at the size of that side compared to that one. Huge difference, look. That's normal. Look how much that's worn. It means that, look, this side, this side there where it's worn, should be down there more. Yeah, now that might mean that, um, that might be another problem. So I might actually need to buy another one of those. But anyway, I'll, I'll come back and let you know how I get on with that. But that's something definitely worth looking at. If you've got any problems, look. See, that's a normal one. It's been worn a little bit, but that is massively worn, look. Um, and that one's that one's new. Hardly worn there, look. But this one's huge. Look at that. So that means that's a little bit twisted. Well, it's not it's got as much pressure on it. So anyway, I'll come back. So we turn it back up on its steps. So I just thought I'd look, there's um one screw there, a little screw there, a screw there, and a screw there. And they're just down there, look, little self tappers. And then literally, you just take that top off, dead easy. And then you've got access to all the real innards in here, look. There's this PCB board. Here's your uh, heater unit, pressure. There, uh, you've got little valves here, here, the lights, the switches. I'm just gonna tighten those up because they're a little bit loose. Anyway, just thought I'd, I'd put that in there so you can see. Okay, I've put the new washer, I've put a new seal up there, put the seal up there and then tighten that up there with my um, with my spanner. Now, I went to the to the supply, I measured it, it's that one there, it's a 52, 52 diameter millimetre di internal diameter o-ring and he didn't actually have any. I went to my box here and these, you can get these, I mean these are like these, these uh, boxes of o-rings are nothing and I found out that that one was pretty much perfect so i've actually just used in here one of these all right nothing special so that would that, that, that literally cost pence um so it's an internal diameter i think of about 50 but that stretched is enough okay but what i have done as well in the process is i ordered these and they have now arrived um that's a pack of about five i think five in there which i paid 10 quid to be sold as um specific for this machine that are on the internet um so uh, they were just general purpose rings, I think 50 internal diameter, 3.5 millimeters thick. So that is um, that is another seal to go on when this one fails, if it doesn't, if it fails. So let's go into the kitchen and plumb this all up and see how it runs. All right, so let's make a coffee here. So we're just using, I just use this one because um, we can have more shots. It's uh, uh, I generally get about 10, 10 grams of coffee beans in there if I set that just above. It's actually a Lavazza crema, which is uh, with a hint of chocolate in it. It's actually really nice. Okay, okay I've just gently uh, scoured that with the little champagne cork with the toothpicks in it. So we put it under there, set it up. Right, so now let's give that a go on here. Oh, so that's a bit tight there, so I've got a little bit too much coffee in there. So that normally needs to be a little bit around there. But that's a good test for it. Okay, so if I get, um, I'm just going to use this as a test to this one. Now, what we're finding before, before I cleaned it all, what was happening is I was getting coffee just coming out of one side. So it was tending to come out of one side, which means it was basically channeling really quickly. So let's see what happens here. So if I turn this on now, let's see what happens. Pressure's building up. It's 
slot coming through any minute now. Yeah, oh look, oh look, lovely. So it's coming in perfectly through both. Look at that. And I've, I've measured with this cup, so around about there is 25 millilitres, which basically means I'm just about a ratio of about 1.25, 1 1.2, 1 something like that. So look at that, beautiful crema, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that. So that's how we change that seal. Seals change, I've got no, because sometimes if that seal's going or something, you'll start getting drips coming down here as well. Um, and I found out that the little, the little um, screw up in the middle there is, has got a spring in it. And then what it should have in it is basically like, almost like a little nail. And that just seals up as a non-return valve. So it's not a ball bearing, it's like a little nail. Um, I've ordered one, I've ordered uh, a little nail um, off the internet to come, just to stop it dripping like that. Um, but I've put a little screw up there at the moment, which sort of does the job basically, but um, that drip there is because I'm, I haven't got the correct uh, sort of stopper in there, which will be coming on the internet, and I'll, I'll change that shortly. So, hope this video has helped. Um, you can do it, you've done it. Any questions or any comments, send me a comment. You can do it.